guys, I'm Lucy and welcome back to The Blurb, where we have gone a little bit Grand Theft Auto crazy. It's not long until we can finally get our hands on Rockstar's latest, and they've been showing off their brand new online multiplayer mode, which looks like it's going to be a bit of a game changer. If you're an employer of adults, adults who enjoy fun and play video games, you're going to want to mark down a date in your diary. Tuesday, October the 1st, 2013. For all intents and purposes, this day may as well be a global public holiday. Seriously, if you're expecting work to get done, deadlines to be met or meetings to transpire, they aren't going to happen on this day. Either your workforce will fall ill with a condition that could last anywhere from a day to forever, or they'll be utterly distracted, itching to get home every moment you don't just let them. Don't be angry, you shouldn't be at work either, because Tuesday, October the 1st, 2013, is the day Grand Theft Auto goes online. Oh sure, we know you're already planning some days off around September the 17th, the day Grand Theft Auto V comes out, but as good as the main event is likely to be, it's GTA Online that's going to take over your life. Rockstar have promised that the scope of this project is much more ambitious than any multiplayer mode they've attempted before. And from what they've demonstrated so far, we believe every word. The game offers almost everything you could ever want from Grand Theft Auto multiplayer. Combining all the stuff Rockstar have worked on in previous games, like Red Dead Redemption, Max Payne 3 and Midnight Club. Roam the streets alone, form a crew, take on missions or create your own. As we all know, Rockstar's signature series is more than just a racing game or a third-person shooter, and now it's become a living, expanding social network. As dynamic and rich as the single-player experience, but open for up to 16 people to simultaneously explore together. The entire city of Los Santos is at your feet, complete with cars to steal, banks to rob, shops to browse, planes to fly, and tennis to play. Money, reputation and material goods are the holy trinity of carrots to chase, each one allowing you new freedoms and more possibilities. This concept of ownership even extends to property and a private garage of up to 10 custom cars, which you can summon from anywhere, whenever you like. It's probably better to think about Grand Theft Auto Online as its own game, not just a side order to Grand Theft Auto V. As long as you've bought GTA V new, Grand Theft Auto Online won't even cost you anything to play. But Rockstar intend to expand what it offers beyond the content you'll find on day one. Trips to Liberty City have been teased, possibly even new countries, maybe using some of the geography or features from the western border states of Red Dead Redemption. Whatever happens, it's fair to expect that Grand Theft Auto Online is just the first phase of Rockstar's plan to dominate the next generation, and a worthy farewell to the current one. It will certainly give the likes of Assassin's Creed 4, Call of Duty Ghosts, and every other upcoming blockbuster a run for its money. So, Tuesday, October the 1st, 2013. Write that down, remember it. Don't plan anything important, just prepare yourself for Grand Theft Auto Online. It looks pretty amazing, but it's not all about GTA. 